a rectangle is oops. So if a rectangle is like that, I can line that to that, that to that, and I extrude it down instead of extruding from one to the other. All right, so this one, oops, I can align it here and lock it. This one, align it here, lock it. And I'll just dimension that to the center that to the center and that should be three quarters now my extrusion is going to be three inches Those three inches have to start one inch below the reference plane because right now the extrusion starts at the top of the table. So this should be negative one inch. Actually, I, I believe this one takes the, uh, the whole value. So this one should be negative four inches. Oops, I started at the wrong. Uh, so this is the top of the table. So now if I flex it, go to the small one and apply. Then it moves with it. The last thing that we need to do, well, one thing before the last is you have that there, and we need to uh, we need to see where that cuts through and goes to the other side. So we just need to join those, and then join those. The last step would be to load it into a project to see if it behaves correctly. So I'm going to close out of all of these and I'm going to start oops, a new project, Imperial Architecture And I'm going to load this into that project. So that's our family. So now it's it acts as family. And if we want to change it, we don't have to go and flex it. The only thing you need to do is just like what we uh, just like what we do with any other family. We just change the type. And now you have both the small and the large in the same file. Any questions? Nope. All right, so that's the end for this family. Uh, but we're going to do something uh, where we're going to use the same table. Uh, so that's it for this one. 
uh, your homework is going to be replicate this but it's gonna be in a uh, you, know, you have to do all the uh, dimensioning and everything pretty much you're just copying this layout the one thing that I don't believe you know how to do is this guy because I haven't gone over that uh, if you have used Revit before you know what uh, what you need to do but if not it's really simple so what you do is just go on an elevation I'm going to delete that so you will go on an elevation right just like what's shown here and you're gonna go to annotate where is it what is it call out call out call out what is that thing it's not an analyze You guys see something that says call out? What is that thing? It's not a systems. That it's in one. View. It's in view? Yeah. Oh, there we go. So just create that. Of course, it's not going to be that big. You have to change the scale. Uh, so this scale is one inch equals one foot. And this behaves just like another section. If you double click here, it's just going to take you to a blown up of that, which is that. And just like any other. Uh, drawing you can just drag it into a sheet so if I want to put that on a sheet by the way this one's going to be what is it? it's gonna be B 11 by 17 you just have to drag it just like what we did with the uh, this is too small that should be One inch equals one inch, one to six. One to six. Want to see how big it is? No. Too big. Oops. So it's just like any other view. your elevations two elevations and the full plan and that's it it's just that this this seems to be a custom uh, custom uh, scale oops I went over the 15 minutes uh, okay so those requirements are going to be posted so that's it for this video 
and we'll move on to the next project.